What happened was a couple of years ago, uh, one of my colleagues told me a story how one of the Germans who participated in the fighting here around the church during the Second World War came here for a visit. And uh, he came here and uh, it, was, it was an extraordinary situation because he had a person that was uh, shooting bullets from the outside and he even told me that he was operating the machine gun there, one of the operators there. And uh, he said that um, uh, when, when he was asked by my colleague, that is, when my colleague asked him, uh, you know, how he feels about the situation, what he's, and he says that um, uh, he developed a huge respect for the people who died here, who, who, who he, he said they were facing an extraordinary, not only that they were outnumbered, but they were psychologically outnumbered and, you know, and they were under a huge stress, that they were as if a minority fighting all these people who were, con you know, convinced that they're going to kill them, they're going to destroy them, and they're going to wipe them out of the earth. And he said that from that point of view, he, he, didn't, he realized this huge power that Germany had, that they, they were just controlling the area. And then he realized that once the war was developing and he was a soldier and so on, and then, then, then obviously Germany lost, he realized that, you know, this illusion of uh, grandeur, this illusion of being in control of something is just, uh, it was just this, just an illusion. And he said that all the more he realizes the true heroism and the, this difficult situation of those under in that situation who are oppressed, who are in a minority, who, uh, who, who know they're going to lose, who know they're going to be destroyed. And this, this, this triumphalism of the, of the victor is, uh, is just misplaced.